this video tutorial, let us see how to run a sample continuity test code on the NI test stand. Now, let us see how to open the NI test stand. Once it asks for the login credentials, just say OK. The main block of the NI test stand where you are going to work all your codes is called is this block and is called as the test stand sequence. Each test stand sequence has three steps. Setup, main and cleanup. The setup step typically contains steps that initialize the instruments or the device under test. The main sequence contains bulk of the steps or test codes in a sequential order desired to test the device or the IC. Whereas the cleanup step contains steps that power down or restore the initial state of the instruments. The next thing what you have to do is first create a folder which has all your codes in it. Here we have already created a folder called the DUT. This folder typically contains the initialize and close folders of the driver. Here we are using the HSDIO driver for creating the codes. So we are using the HSDIO initialize and HSDIO close, uh, close codes. And this file should, this folder should also contain the codes for all the tests that you are going to perform. Here we are just showing you the continuity test and hence we have only the code for the continuity test. Don't forget to include the pin map uh, of the test sequence file. The next thing what you have to do is open the sequence editor and press uh, and you should be able to see the in inside steps here for all setup, main and cleanup. Now from the left hand side draw box sele select the semiconductor multi test and just drag and drop the setup uh, in this fashion and you can also re uh, rename it as per your choice. Now this is the code where we insert the initialized code for the HSDIO so I have named it in this fashion. Similarly, drag and drop the semiconductor multi-test for main and also for cleanup and rename it like this, uh, HSDIO continuity and HSDIO close. Mm. Now first select HSDIO initialize and go to and in, in this bar here, go to go and select the module. Now you will have and uh, this window will pop up and you can browse your VI to include the code. Now we have created a file called the DUT and this we, uh, because it is the initialized code now you, we can use this and insert the code in the test stand. Now when this uh, pops up uh, don't forget that you need to use the absolute path for the file you have selected. Now after we have added the code, the VI file path looks something like this. If you get this file path then it means that your code is added. Now coming down here, uncheck the default, default button and go to the variables and in, in the HSDIO initialize step expand it and drag and drop the semiconductor module context in here under the value. Now repeat these steps for both HSDIO continuity and HSDIO closed sessions. Now select on HSDIO continuity and go to test. Here we can add how many of our tests you want according to the number of pins. To add a test go to the plus button to the right hand corner of the window. In this way you can add any number of tests and give random numbers for the test say 1, 2, three and give a test name. The first we are now testing for the positive continuity so we can get, give it as VDD. Now here under the pin we usually see a drop down menu. If you cannot find a drop down menu remember that you need to add your pin map file to the code. So to add your pin map file go to semiconductor module and edit test program. 
once you get this window, browse for the pin map. Remember you have saved your pin map in the DUT file which you have created. The pin map file is a .xml file so be sure you save your file in that format. And use an absolute path. And press OK. Now you can see in the drop drawn menu the pin all the pins that you have for the device under test. So you can select all your pins for which you want to perform the test.